I'm Dr. Derek Lampkin. I'm an ice and climate researcher, and I study how large ice sheets respond to a warming climate. An ice sheet is a large block or mass of ice that covers an extensive area at the size of a continent. I spend my time thinking about the Greenland ice sheet. We're seeing 300 billion tons of ice being lost annually from the Greenland ice sheet. That's ice mass being dumped right into the ocean and making a direct contribution to sea level rise. So we're very much concerned about what the long-term health of Greenland is going to be. When you look at a large block of ice like Greenland, it might appear to you as if it's not moving at all. But it turns out that ice moves very slowly. The ice sheet moves from the center to the edges like a conveyor belt and breaks off into large blocks which go into the ocean and melt. What we're most concerned about in a warming climate is how fast that ice is moving to the edges and how much contribution the ice is making to sea level rise. Here's the inside of uh, one of the main tents at Swiss Camp. I just got back from the Greenland Ice Sheet on a research expedition where we use GPS to monitor the movement of the ice. GPS operates just like it does in your car. It tells you your accurate location on the Earth's surface at any moment that you're moving. So we use the same kind of technology, but we connect it to poles that are frozen into a fixed position on the ice surface. And then as that ice moves, the pole moves, and we're able to monitor how fast that pole moves. Our data showed us something actually quite exciting. The ice was moving faster when there was more surface meltwater present in the summer. I became very much interested in understanding how much surface meltwater is being produced, how it flows across the ice sheet surface, and how it makes its way into the ice sheet. Your job will be to help us map out these blue dots, which you can clearly see in the satellite image here. My students helped me do this by utilizing images collected from satellites that are in orbit that take pictures of the Earth's surface. Yeah. What will look like maybe one channel is actually a network of interconnected. We're able to identify where the lakes are, where the channels are, and we can map out and understand how much they change and how much water they deliver into the ice sheet and its impact on the ice movement towards the ocean. Greenland has contributed over the last decade about eight millimeters of sea level rise. It doesn't seem like that's a whole lot, but it matters under circumstances where you have hurricanes and storms slosh water onto the land and inundate coastal areas. The more the public understands how these ice masses influence uh, their everyday lives or will influence their lives in the future, the more they'll have an understanding about how to impact policy so that we reduce the impact that humans have on the climate.